Hi there, guys. How are you this evening? Bob is going to read a book. It's called Circus Mouse. It's about a mouse. You should enjoy that. And look who I have sitting here with me. I don't know how long he's going to stay here, but we'll check it out, okay? Arthur was a circus mouse. He lived under the hay and monkey, the dancing bear's cage. At least that's where he slept at night. During the day, there were lots of things for Arthur to do. He kept the monkeys company, polished the hubcaps on the circus wagons, and gave the lions water. Arthur even cleaned up the circus grounds after a performance. He was a hard-working mouse. See how the mouse is doing all that? Can you see those pictures, what they're doing? They are hard workers. Arthur felt very gloomy. He went back to his pile of hay to think. Monkey tried to help. Why don't you go ask one of the acts for a job, he suggested. I hear the juggler could use some help. Oh, boy. So Arthur went off to see the juggler. He was dropping things left and right. Can you catch a wooden ball, asked the juggler. Sure, answered Arthur. Arthur almost got squished when he landed. Sorry, said the juggler. I'm afraid you're too small. Uh-oh. You think he's too small? A mouse is pretty small. Oh, there's the clown. Arthur decided to ask the clowns for a job. He painted his face and put on a clown suit, but the clowns didn't even notice him. I guess I'm just too small, said Arthur. No one wants me for anything, but I just know I can do something fantastic. I just know I can. See the mouse with his little clown outfit? That's pretty cute. I didn't know mice could put a clown outfit on. Arthur went off to see his friend Horse. Horse was part of the Trick Riders Act and was one of his closest friends. No one even asks what I can do, wept Arthur. I mean, I can squeeze through a hole that is smaller than I am. I can climb up a table leg. I can balance on anything. That's it, shouted Horse. You can be part of my act. You can balance on my nose. Wow, how about that? A mouse on a horse's nose. That would be cute to see. That night, Arthur appeared in the ring, balancing gracefully, gracefully on the tip of the horse's nose. Around and around they went while the trick riders did amazing feats on horses' backs. See the little mouse on the horse's nose? It's hard to see. When the trick riders took their bows, the crowd clapped and yelled. When Horse took his bows, the crowd clapped and yelled. When Arthur took his bows, nobody clapped or yelled. They probably couldn't see me, thought Arthur. Probably couldn't. He's so small. Uh-oh, look at the big elephant. Then the elephants came out. Each elephant was holding on to the tail of the elephant in front of him. As they started walking around the ring, Arthur remembered what his mother had always told him. Stay away from the elephants, she had said. For some reason, they are terrified of mice. They make the most awful noise and jump up and down. You might get stepped on and then zip. No, Arthur. An elephant would tramp on Arthur. He would be squished. Arthur panicked and scooted under the tent flap. He ran, he ran to his pile of hay and hid. Oh my goodness, moaned Arthur. Now I've really done it. No one will ever give me a job. But when Moki the bear returned, he could talk of nothing but the elephants. They were a sensation, he said. Everyone wanted them to do the funny tricks again, but they wouldn't. It was all my fault, sobbed Arthur. I made them do it. You made them do that, cried Moki. Go tell the ringmaster this instant. This could be your lucky break. When Arthur got to the ringmaster's tent, he was pacing up and down, muttering to himself, This could save my circus, but how do I get them to do it again? How, I ask? How? I can get them to do it, said Arthur. He told the ringmaster what had happened. The ringmaster yelled, You've got a job, kid. This will be the greatest act in the world. Now Arthur has his own dressing room, and he is the star of the show. There is a big poster that says, Arthur, the circus mouse, 
the world's greatest elephant trainer. How about that? A mouse training an elephant. That's pretty good. That was a good book. Wasn't that a good book? See, there's all the elephants and the clowns and the juggler and everything. I hope you enjoyed that. I like that one. We'll see ya. Bye.